Hello, Aaron and Katie here. Welcome to our bumper bloopers of season two episode. Ooh. We are coming up to 10,000 downloads, Katie. Wow, that's a big number. It is a big number. We have decided to give a little bit extra in this episode. So we are going to be listening to our own mistakes and then we'll be commenting on them. Will we? Well, I'll be commenting on them. <laughs> <laughs> to give you a, a little bit of background or some maybe some Easter eggs in there as well. It was nearly Easter. It is nearly Easter. Nearly but Easter. by the time we do this, it'll be nearly Easter. Yeah, you take ages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cue the music. This isn't art, this is a monstrosity. Seriously, what's with that face? It's a mix between sexual excitement and a grimace. Like he's just had his tunnel pot. Tun like he's just had his tunnel pot. Tunnel? Funnel. <laughs> it's not a fucking tunnel, is it? No. <laughs> Can't read. Do you want to walk us through that one? Well, first of all, Festive Farringdon, yeah? Yeah. It's a yearly event. In real life. In real life, yeah. in Farringdon. And there's a Thomas the Tank Engine yep. that's pulled along by a, a truck and Santa rides on the back of Thomas. Yes. Yeah, every year. And you decided to make your own Thomas. And in my defence, Aaron hogs the laptop so I can never read properly. <laughs> <laughs> but that was actually our only error on episode one. We flew through that episode. Unlike these next batch of bloopers, which are from episode two, and the first one only comes about seven seconds into recording. I don't know what we was on that night. No, you wanted traditional. You wanted to do festive found and properly, so we're using a proper tree. And the best place to search for one, for one, for one... <laughs> one, do, 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 one. <laughs> I don't know where that sentence was going. Auditioning. <laughs> Stop, ha, ha, you can't even do it anyway. Oh, synovial fluid draining must eat vitamin, vitamin B. <laughs> vitamin B. I know you've been waiting for this moment. Try that clunky ass key in the tower door. I'll put it in the same bit. Yeah, I know. Just <laughs> <laughs> to have a go, right? <laughs> Might leave it in. Depends if yours is better. We're the same weight now, and I've got the key to the hatch, so that means I'm the key master. So go on, assume the position. I'm the key master. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again, because I was laughing. Why are you grinning? Because this is so fucking cool. This is like... <laughs> I didn't fucking do this bit of that laughing. <laughs> Your favourite blooper from episode two? Well, it wasn't really a blooper, but my door creak effect was fucking awesome. I don't know why you didn't use it. I have saved that use for later on oh, good. in case I get stuck. Put a lot of effort into that. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favourite one was the um, part where I was meant to take the mickey out of your voice when you said I'm the key master. Me, 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 me. And then I've somehow just let my mouth go and just do that me 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 and because it was like a child like yes a child. you are like a child yes. and because it was unscripted I think it set you off. It certainly set me off. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I was reading the script from afar because I can never see the screen. <laughs> I've never killed anyone before. I noticed that... I noticed you didn't... Uh, I noticed you didn't... Ah, yeah, for fuck me. For fuck, fuck me. me. For fuck me. For far, for far, for far. <clears throat> <laughs> they are. That's one from me. 
That was from episode four. Oh, finally. It's not all me, you know. No, that was for fuck me. For fuck me. For fuck me. Totally got tongue twisted. It's not as good as this one. This is the famous Is It? Is that? Is that? Is that? Scenario from episode four. Um, if you've not heard, strap yourself in. Thanks. I'll be okay. Just some bad dreams. Happy New Year, by the way. Is it? Wow. Is it? Is it now? <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? How shall I? How shall I do that? Is it? Is it? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> is that? <laughs> you sound like. Um, oh, do you remember two, two time Tim? Are that? <laughs> you used to make that stupid noise. No, no idea what you're going on about. Oh, I'll find it later. Right. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I did not say it right that time. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got the giggles now. Stop it. Right, it's just talk properly. <laughs> Not listening, right? Go. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? It's just two words and a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because the giggles. <laughs> Come on, it's four letters and a question mark. Right. <sighs> right. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm actually crying. <laughs> I need to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> you need to leave the room. Oh, my God, so fast. <clears throat> it's a solo. Say, say the next time. It's a solo show. Right, OK. <laughs> 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 Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? 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 Even though when I was saying it properly. Yeah, because I was <laughs> expecting you to go, is that? <laughs> <laughs> and I do remember now, looking back at that uh, that part, it's uh, home improvement, isn't it? Yeah, home improvement, tall time, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that noise, yeah. It sounds like that? Yeah, it does. Okay. Do it. Is that? Yeah, like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually seriously dragging me the sofa over that door with me still on it? I said it all wrong. <laughs> and you actually dragged me. That was the part where we're in the new house, the farmhouse at Longcott, and I'm no. dragging you over a basement full of zombies on a sofa. Yeah, because I broke my foot and I couldn't move. Yeah. You actually did drag me. I did drag you. On the chair that I was sitting on to record. Did I tell you about that? You didn't tell me you were going to drag me, no. <laughs> That's why I got stumped and I couldn't say my line. <laughs> it's like, you're actually dragging me? No, you're actually dragging me. <laughs> well, if you didn't do it and I didn't do it, what the fuck did? Is there a Z up there that's evolved enough to know how to open a door, close a door? <laughs> <laughs> you drunk. Yeah. Is there a Z up there? <laughs> That was me in episode six, playing drunk. Were you actually drunk, though, because no. you couldn't speak? <laughs> no, I was just trying to play drunk. Oh, well, you played it a bit too well. <laughs> That's a bug zapper, in the shape of a tennis racket. Yeah, we used to have one. They were pretty effective, weren't they? At killing flies, yeah. I'm not sure how you'll do versus the undead. Give us a go. Do you want some weapon training with that? Go. <laughs> go. I'm not going to actually hit you. Yeah. So you got to hit me and then I go, fuck that thing. So right? You have I to just, press it. I'm not pressing it. So episode six again, that was using our bug zapper. For all the flies. For all the flies that were coming in during the summer when we were recording this thing. And you were supposed to hit me. Yeah. But I you thought want... you would have taken the opportunity. Yeah, but you wanted me to hit you with it turned on. Yes. No. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm, I'm very grateful. How do I explain that to the police? <laughs> <laughs> Not anything that's going to leave marks. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't have to scream. The noise from just moving along is going to attract the Zeds from everywhere. You never know. Maybe a rag and bone man will turn up. Those guys would have definitely survived an apocalypse. Rambon! No, it's like this. Rambon! <laughs> Rambon! 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 meant to be doing it with me. <laughs> you didn't say that in the script. It does. No, it doesn't. It says Aaron Huckett, rag and bone oh, man, okay. noise and laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> me taking the script literally. Yep. If you don't write it down, I don't say it. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, I could hear you going as soon as we started that rag and bone. I do the southern England version of rag and bone. Where oh, I think no, come a, on. It's a bit different up north, I no, swear. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Perhaps we could try again, but this time cover you in pillows. If you think I'm gonna go, if you think I'm going through all that again, I'll give you a fucking mullet. I'll give you a fucking mullet. I'll give you a fucking mullet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I did probably. <laughs> Is it mullet or mullet? Mullet. 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 <laughs> I can't speak. Half northern and half southern. I don't don't know some words. <laughs> if you think I'm going through that again, I'll give you a fucking mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's a neat little thing again. Isn't it? Mullet, say, mullet, say mullet. Mullet. Say mullet meatloaf. <laughs> mullet meatloaf. <laughs> Aaron nearly sprayed his coffee everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> if you're listening to the bloopers. <laughs> right, do I try again or just go with that? No, I'm it's fine. Do it again. I can't oh, say oh, a mullet. Okay, okay. <laughs> mullet. 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 Oh, mullet. It's a yeah. mullet. I'm a cockney, all right? It's a mullet. I'm not a northerner anymore. Go. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anymore. <laughs> anymore. Right. Shh. If you think I'm going through all that again, I'll give you a fucking mullet. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Just say mullet. I can't do it. <laughs> do you always change it to? Some, if, some words. <laughs> if you think I'm going through all that again, I'll change your hairstyle. Just some words, just <laughs> just naturally northern. <laughs> right, hang on. I'll oh. give you a fucking mallet. Mallet, mallet. It's a mallet. I'll give you a fucking mallet. I do. <laughs> to think about it. <laughs> mallet. 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 What is it? Mallet. <laughs> mallet. <laughs> like that. Mallet. 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 I can't fucking feel my cheekbones. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> breathe, Katie, breathe. So what's with words beginning with M? It's not just M. It's just certain words that I don't use very often in my life. True. Like mullet <laughs> and meatloaf. <laughs> it just come out naturally northern. If you don't know, I used to be a northerner and I moved down south when I was 15. I had to change the way I spoke so that people would understand me. Northerners everywhere that emigrated down south. Emigrated, yeah. yeah. They would sympathise. If I was a southerner moving up north, I wouldn't care. I you would wouldn't just give a carry shit. on. You wouldn't change anything. Carry on talking until I got beat up. Exactly. But yeah, meat, loaf and mullet. I can't do them. Okay. <laughs> I'm just actually trying to push you over. Okay. <laughs> Go. I can't do it without giggling. Right. My mum's on me. <laughs> and you're fighting me off, not trying to push me over. Okay. So that's one from episode seven. We were meant to be having a pretend fight, but uh, the idea was that we had some sound effect and grunts and groans in an actual pushing contest, and we just couldn't hold a straight face. <laughs> well, no, because... 
you weren't really fighting back. You were just pushing into me. So I was just pushing into you. So then it was like a tug of war. Who's going to push each other over first? You had to eat. And the film's about, you're going to love eating, Fred. Well, I am a bit peckish. What do we eat? Humans. 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 <laughs> Fucking humans. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking humans! Edna's voice is really hard to do when you're as young and... Virile. Virile as me. <laughs> <laughs> well, virile, maybe not. But young. I have a young voice and it's not aged very much. No, it hasn't. To be fair, and you did a grand job. I have to say, I made it extremely difficult. For it was really that. difficult. I had yeah. long scripts to reel off. You would have had a lot longer because originally I had planned for that episode to be a solo episode, so oh, just you on your own. Thanks, thanks for chipping in with your little <laughs> tuppence worth. <laughs> and it was meant to be about a fifteen-minute-long episode. It was, it was more morose. Oh, so you wanted the longest episode we've ever done, <laughs> <laughs> soloed by me as Edna. Cheers for that, Aaron. <laughs> but then I thought, right, I'll, I'll give Katie a break and I'll write the character of Fred, give you something to bounce off of and make the job easier on you. But you did, you know, there were occasions during the recording where you struggled to keep up yeah. with the voice and that was a, that was yeah, a just an example. Yeah, a 20-minute break at one point. Yeah. I lost it completely. We Couldn't... did the most research for that one as well. On we did. On voice technique, yeah. we asked around on Twitter. We're not actors, as you can tell. God We're not no. actors. This is just fun. But we did a lot of research on how to sound old, how yeah. to yeah create that older sounding voice. And you did amazing at the end. This one's from episode nine. Most impractical find ever. Why are we even using these? They do the job. It doesn't matter that they're pink with bow ties. The age range. Bleh. Age. The age. Age. <laughs> age. 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 I think you've edited out your bloopers from the bloopers. I've got plenty of bloopers to come. <laughs> Trust me on that. Oh, how many sugars did you put in that coffee, Aaron? At one. No. <laughs> Guess again. <laughs> two. <laughs> Buckle my shoe. <laughs> one, two, book on my shoe. Three, four, diabetic fit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was just a break in play, wasn't it? That was yeah, the... that was just recording between yeah. recordings. But uh, we left it in for the funnies. I'm excited! <laughs> Again? I'm excited! Oh, that's wonderful. That's perfect. Our daughter. Mm-hmm. Who plays the talky-walky voice. Uh, we sat her down for maybe five, ten minutes, got her to record eight different phrases for the character of the Talky Walkies, and she did absolutely fantastic. Right, episode 10, I think we're on now. Wanna go there? I did this last time. Wanna go solve? Wanna go solve to Miss Grace? <laughs> Daphne? Daphne. <laughs> when I said I did this last time, it's because we did some reading before recording, and I made that same mistake as I did in the reading. Some people learn from their mistakes, they Aaron. <clears throat> Synchro sniffing. Jinx sniff. <laughs> and that was the very rare, rarely seen, rarely heard synchronised sniff. Oh, he didn't do it that time. Oh, no, I wasn't expecting You weren't that. ready? No. no. Very, very rare. It is very rare. Very rare. If you get two people in a room, it is highly unlikely that they'll sniff at the same time. Yeah. I mean, they'll both sniff, mm. but at the same time, no. It's just yeah. unheard of. So we had to capture that on film. On film. <laughs> on, on audio film. <laughs> We could use some of the most coshes. Look at the size of this one. I could club a seal with. <laughs> I meant to interrupt you. <laughs> do you want me to do that? Instead, there was an awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> what seals? <laughs> We're not even at the seaside. <laughs> Is this Western Superman? Where do you think we are? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see the script because you hogged the laptop. <laughs> so I didn't realise I was meant to be interrupting you. I just think it's quite funny when we just riff about making Western Supermare sound like this magical place that seals are. It's got seals. <laughs> probably unicorns and walruses are hanging about. Yeah. Yeah, they're down by the pier. <laughs> We've never seen them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bollocks. We've been spotted. Let's pack up our... 
Again, me just bouncing off of your mistakes. I've got nothing to say on that. <laughs> Most Zeds are still heading this way, though. We've got about 20 seconds. Can we hold them off? Not this many. They'll easily have this van on its side. I'll do that again. That was awful, actually. <laughs> Not this many. They'll easily have this... Uh, they'll easily, easily, easily have this van on its side. Not this many. They'll easily have this van on its side. On his side, on its side. Why on is this so side. difficult? Oh, not this many. They'll easily have this van on its side. Why don't you just say tip the van over? <laughs> tip the van. They'll, yeah, I did it. Instead. Not this many. They'll just tip the van over. Bow. Yeah. <laughs> you see, sometimes Aaron, you just overcomplicate things. <laughs> Script changes on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> the water is muddy as. Holy shit, it's alive! How the fuck is it still alive? Ew, it's all slimy. Oh, there's a hand in there. Yeah, mine. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, it didn't work for laughed. <laughs> That's what you wanted, right? Yeah. But don't laugh, okay. You're gonna get wet. <laughs> oh, Jesus, where? <laughs> to laugh. That was good. That was a good effect, though. <laughs> Just don't laugh. Right, one more time. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting your box all wet. It won't make a sound, then. If you're so gay. Oh, Jesus, where? Perfect. <laughs> Can we get a mop? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're live and rolling. <laughs> no, we need a mop. The floor's all wet now. Why is it always me? I just sit on the wet patch. <laughs> your screen's all wet. That was actually my favourite bit of everything we've recorded so far. Really? Yeah, I really enjoyed recording that. Just because you had a chance to splash water everywhere. Oh, yeah, it's like a big kid playing in a paddling pool. <laughs> no, it was just fun to, like, get it right. Sometimes we have to make our own sound effects. We've come up with a washing bowl uh, full of water and a box for that episode just to do a couple of things that just weren't out there. And the idea was you put your hand in and then you pull it out quickly. And then you did it. Uh, you got everything completely wet. Yeah, everything was soaked. There was a massive puddle of water on the floor. There was. It was fun to do that. But we carried on. When we had electricity all over the place, we carried on. Yeah. Loose wires everywhere. <laughs> like, do not try this at home. Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> we do this so you don't have to. Is that seriously your favourite part? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Oh, wicked. That's so cool. <laughs> Okay, last of the bloopers then. Uh, we tried to do an East Enders style drum roll out of some musical instruments. It didn't quite pan out. No, not, um, not as you planned. No, I was going to slow it down in edit, but uh, even then it didn't really... Well, you'll, you'll find out, you'll hear why. <coughs> the basic idea was to let a box of musical instruments owned by our children fall off the bench onto the floor and it would then create uh, an Dramatic EastEnders... Dramatic sound. Yeah, style duff, 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 duff. But it didn't work at all. No. This is what it actually sounded like. Do we need an EastEnders style duff, duff after that bit? I could just tip this box of instruments over and see what happens. Do it. It's not done yet. It's not even done. Spooky. Anticlimactic. It was. And Best. spooky, yeah. The bit at the end, the tambourine, that fell over on its own. It did. I don't have to, you know, don't have to imagine that themselves. Yeah. But uh, trust us. So that's it. That's the season over. And there are our bloopers all laid bare. Thank you ever so much for listening. We will be back for a season three trailer in February. Until next time, fellow survivors, lock your doors, because we're coming back. Where's that, Where's that duff duff box? <laughs> Let's try again. It might work this time. <laughs>